Indigo Lily principal, Courtney Johnson, created My Troll Patrol. She used to be a strict punisher. And I'd suspend kids like crazy, but kids were resenting that. They were only doing it to avoid the punishment. So she decided to focus on positive reinforcement while teaching kids vital life skills. We tried to figure out nine essential values that kids need to know to be successful socially. Values like treating others how they'd like to be treated. You know, the golden rule, but the golden rule on steroids. Or being responsible. Why should I be responsible? I mean, that's boring. Kids don't care when you say be responsible. But when you add in the magic of the troll and bring in the stories that are exciting and fun and engaging, kids will read them. Johnson says she spent about $20,000 of her own money developing My Troll Patrol. The artwork, stories, and programming were all donated by passionate teachers and parents like James. Because of that passion, students at Siegel Lily are noticing a big difference. And the district has already named the school's principal, who will be working with residents to make plans for the school and help develop a mascot logo and identity. With Westlake High bursting at the seams, the Eagle Mountain High School is a necessity. I mean, next year we're projected to be at 3,100 students at Westlake, and we definitely need to give them their own space to grow and, and try to be a bigger fish in a smaller pond. I think it's only fair to kids have opportunities, and when you get too large, too many kids in a school, we lose that close net feel that we've been working on this project for the last two years and we're excited to be the aviators and just show the community what an aviator is all about. Usually, um, you become a teacher first because you're the lead educator in the building. So that's my primary job is to help our teachers become better at what they do and to help um, communicate with families about the educational needs of their kids. And that's what I do for the most. I also do budgets and things like that. But to become a principal, you, can, you, you don't have to be a teacher first, but because that's your primary role, it's best. And then you get your administration um, degree, a master's degree. It's a desire, and they, there's some, um, an interview process, and we write, and we take tests, pass boards. It's, it's a, little bit of, a little bit of a challenge, but it's fun. I, lo I love this stuff. You know, part of it, I, um, I was intrigued with the idea. They, they asked me to consider it, and I just thought, what an opportunity to take a school um, that doesn't exist and come up with um, a team of people, like our naming committee, we had a group. We put out and got feedback, had over 7,000 responses went through and narrowed it down, and then when we narrowed it down to our top 11, we did presentations on it, and the one I did was that movie, Meet the Aviators. I wasn't the only one who presented on Aviators, there were two other people, and when we did the vote, it was 11, to 11 for Aviators. It was kind of the Wild West out here, and pilots, and was the military people, and there was a lot of aviation from engineers, a lot of smart people out of here that embrace that. The kids, just every day, um, it's like being a mom of a school, and I have a lot of babies. I like working with the teachers a lot and the parents. Um, we really have some neat people out here. I was at Springville Junior High as a TSA, so a teacher on special assignment as an administrator. And then before that, I taught forever. Fourth, fifth, and sixth grade. In my backyard, look at my hands, they're all wrinkly and callousy. I, I love to work in the yard. Watch it grow and take care of them, and feed them, fertilize twice a week. I, I did my undergraduate work at Brigham Young University. I did my first master's at SUU. I got my endorsement 
which is a second master's program for my administration for the University of Phoenix because it worked with my, I did that while I went to school. And we wrote a lot of papers, that's primarily how we learned what we needed to learn, as well as our classwork, but it was a great experience. I do a lot of gardening and I write a lot of books. I started the sequel to Light the Fires. Memorial Day. It makes you think about your ancestors and it, it's the best time of the year with the weather. It's like a renewal um, the time, a reflection time to think about what went well, what you can improve on for school. 